Hi friends, and welcome to Drama Class. Today for our circle time question of the day, we're not going to be doing something that is our favorite like we usually do. Today we're going to be answering the question, what kind of things like shapes can you make with your hands? I'll give you some examples. You can make a heart. Can you make a heart with your hands? Good. You can make a circle. Can you make a circle with your hands? Very good. You can make a diamond. Can you make a diamond? Great job. Or we could do something like numbers with our hands. There's a lot of different shapes that we can make with our hands. What shapes can you think of? That's awesome. Well, what we're going to be doing for drama class today is we're going to be using our hands to make puppets against the wall. And I'm so excited to show you guys some new hand movements that you can make to make those animals on the wall. As you can see, my hand is already starting to do it back there. But what we're going to be needing to do this is a flashlight. If you have a flashlight at home, go ahead and ask mom and dad if they can grab it for you. If you don't want to use a flashlight, you could use a really bright light that you can move around and plug in. So just as long as you're close to a plug, you could put that plug into a wall. And you want a blank wall behind you, something just like this, so that you'll be able to see your hands up against the wall. Once you guys are ready, come on back. I'm so excited to get it started with you. And here we go. As you see, I moved positions just so you could see the wall a little bit better. It will get darker in here, guys, so just be aware of that. What we want to do with our first position for our hands is our hands flat like this, but we're going to turn them around so that our palms are facing towards us. We're going to hook our thumbs together. Great, and then we're going to flap, 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 flap. We're going to be making a bird, okay? So I'm going to turn off this light next to me and I'm going to put the flashlight on and then we'll do it against the wall. Flashlight on. Okay. I'm going to put our hands together, our thumbs together, and then look, we can flap, flap, flap. And there's our bird. Great job, guys. That was a great first one. Let me see you doing it. Very good. Okay, friends, here's our next shadow puppet that we're going to learn how to do. The first thing you need to do is put your left hand out in front of you. Then you're going to take your right hand, take these two fingers, and you're going to tuck them underneath. Good. And the other ones you're just going to lay behind the other hand. So it's going to look like this. Good. All right, now tuck this finger right up here. You're going to tuck so it goes inside. And you can use your other pointer finger from your other hand to hold it down. And then you're just going to move your pinky back and forth, up and down. Very good. And then the last thing you're going to do is want to make sure that your two thumbs are right up above you. Okay? And this is going to look like a dog. All right, so I'm going to turn out the light, and I'm going to put on the flashlight, and then we'll practice up against the wall. Okay. And do your left hand out. Get your right hand, put those two fingers underneath, and the other ones behind. Good, and you can already see it starting. See the pinky going up and down? Awesome. Now you're going to take the pointer finger and tuck it in. And you're going to make sure the two thumbs are up there. Very good. Hold that pink, uh, the pointer finger down if you need to. And then you can move your pinky back and forth. Good job, guys. And there's your dog. You see your dog? <laughs> Very good, guys. That's our dog shadow puppet. <laughs> good. 
good job. All right, guys, the next shadow puppet we're going to learn is the snail. This one's a little easy, so all you have to do, you're going to take your right hand, and you're going to put it out in front of you, just like this. Good. And then you're going to take your left hand, and you're going to put a fist right above that other one. Now make sure all the fingers on this hand are kind of flat up against each other at first, but then you can separate your pointer finger and the middle finger to make sure that the snail has little ears. Okay, we're going to do it right up against the wall. I'm going to turn off my light and I'm putting on the flashlight. Okay, so you're going to take your hand and put it up. Very good. Sometimes it's a little hard to tuck that thumb in, but try as best you can. Okay, now take your other hand. You're going to make a fist. Very good. And then you can separate the two other fingers at the top and then make a snail. I know it's kind of hard to see with mine because my hand is in the way, but if you can see it a little bit, there's your snail. <laughs> Great job! Alright friends, the next one we're going to be doing is an elephant. So what you want to do for this one is you want to put your hand out, get that right hand out, and you're just going to kind of lay it down just like this so that your wrist is bent over. Perfect. But now keep your pinky and your thumb just out a little bit further than the rest of them. Very good. And you're going to put your other hand and just lay it right on top, okay? You won't be able to see it until it's up against the wall where you need to place this hand on top, so just make sure it goes right on top. And I'm going to turn the light off and put the flashlight on. Okay. There you go. So, put your hand straight down, but remember, like I said, you want to leave your thumb and your pinky finger out a little bit. It's okay for right now if they're on two different... There you go. I'm going to put the other one on top. And there's your elephant. Great job, guys. That's awesome elephants. Those are just a few of the animals that you can make with your hands. And if you look online, you can find even more. So have mom and dad help you guys look, and they can help you with the different hand movements up against the wall. I had so much fun doing all of those animals today with you guys, and I hope I get to see them again soon, along with the new animals that you learn at home. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys are having a great day. I miss you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.